it's a bit difficult because, you know, you, you're brought into people's lives for unexpected reason or a, or a sudden reason and, and it's hard not to get upset. Mm -hmm. When we got there, um, it was a man who was living alone in the back of um, someone's house in a granny flat downstairs. He was actually 44 years old. He was a father of two young kids. Um, it was quite, quite sad. People could brief you on, like, obviously the job and what you have to do, but no one can teach you how to deal with that emotionally. Personally, it resonates with me. My mum passed away when I was 12, so um, I really feel for his kids and, um, yeah, it was quite upset, yeah. Brennan was really, really good there. He, um, he did a lot of the hands-on type of work. Um, I was busy dealing with um, the people that were there that were quite upset and were grieving, trying to get information off them. Uh, we've now got to tell the family, uh, which is obviously quite hard, telling a family member that one of their relatives has passed away. I've never done it before, um, it's going to be really hard to tell them. Yeah, to be honest, I don't think that people do understand how confronting it is being a police officer and what we have to go through. You always remember the first, I think, and you always remember your senses, what you've seen, what you felt, what you smelt, all those types of things. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm alright. Fine. Yeah. yeah. Getting through it. It's something you just have to do with his job. It's emotional and... A bit confronting at first, but yeah. When I got home later on, I spoke to my parents about it. The, the closest people to me. Yeah, obviously I was shocked and you can't prepare yourself for that. We're, we're human at the end of the day. We're not robots. We do have emotions. We do get affected by things. They still can't fully teach you the whole aspects of the job because every different incident is a whole new experience. <laughs> Coming up, backpackers take partying to a new...